So just done set three of hills or basically six times five minutes up Monday morning. By the way, I'm still down in Somerset. Um, I haven't filmed because basically I'm using my arms as much as possible for that hill drive. I keep my eyesight about 10 meters head, really fast arms, short cadence or high cadence, short steps, upright posture. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but I've got to get on with this. But yeah, today is 60, 70 minutes on the trails with five times, sorry, six times five minutes up, 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 up. That's King Alfred's Tower over there, that's nice. Come on, pheasant, you and me up the hill. Okay, that's it, 75 minutes, just over 12 kilometers with about 1,300 foot of elevation. To be honest, that was only five reps of six minutes. Sorry, six, was it? sorry, that was only five reps of five minutes. The plan was six reps of five, but I just felt like I've left my kids at home my grandparents, with my parents for too long. So I've got to head back and make sure all is okay and well, but that's it. It's Monday on the hills. Really, really good. Morning, Tuesday morning. Just out walking Rufus. Uh, I've just been out on a 45 minute run. Didn't bring the camera, didn't really think there was much need to because it was just a simple 45 minute run on the trails. Dun, dun, dun. Right, uh, this morning, some core stuff, a bit of yoga stuff, some ab stuff, as you just saw there in that kind of fast forward time lapse video. Legs feeling good after yesterday, the hill sprints in Somerset are really, really nice to get on there and find some proper hills because, yeah, I'm enjoying that. And I'm going to talk about the hills more later because they deserve um, almost their own video. But also today, Tuesday, I know it's going to be a quite exciting day because I've got something arriving in about 45 minutes from uh, DPD, which is from Apple, something ultra-ish. Not much of a hard clue to get there. Yeah, yeah. Do you need this? What is it? Passport. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Let me see what comes up. Rufus, sorry. Come on. Rufus, here. Come on, Rufus. Ru come here, Rufus. Come on, come on. Get in. All right, cool. Yeah, that's it. The feel and the look of that, that's a good, decent weight. Solid. I'm liking, I didn't even know if it has any juice. Does it have juice? And, oh, yeah, look at that. Whew, nice. Okay, Wednesday, 19th of October. Two hours with three times 12. 50k MP pace, so marathon pace roughly. Breakfast is done. Also today, I'm gonna go super light. So I'm just gonna take a camera with me, but I'm gonna take the Insta360 Go 2 and watch the Apple Watch here. It's gonna be my phone, music, navigation, etc., etc. So packing light. Let's do this. See you in a bit. What are we doing here? So six, just over six kilometers into the run. Um, this is the first run that I've done with the, the Apple Watch Ultra. So I'm using a Work Outdoors app. I never use the native apps, but just getting a bit, just took me a bit of time to, to work out the right screen setting. I still haven't got my average pace screen setting on there, which is a bit annoying. But apart from that, really good. 19 kilometers in, uh, about one or two more to do. And then I'm home, so about 21 kilometers, probably just over two hours. We're just under, uh, all on trails with a few efforts in between. It's got 69% left. I left it with, I, I left with it on about 90%. Uh, I've had it on music, I've had full GPS, I've had it on cellular, and it's been going for two hours. So actually, with everything burning and going pretty hard, uh, to lose 20%, not brilliant, but it's actually not, it's so much better than it used to be. So it will definitely get you through uh, a marathon 50K, uh, probably even 100K if you drop the cellular um, and probably don't use the music, definitely. But uh, I was using everything there, so pretty impressed with how it's all working out so far. Two hours, trails, all good. I was very close not doing that. I was very close 
important to not doing that run. That makes sense. Bit of a mental battle I had before I got going there, but I'm really glad I did. As always, get out, get moving, and you feel good. Okay, I know you can't see much, but well, anything at all probably. I'm down in the Isle of Wight. Yesterday was the travel day, rest slash rest day, quick workout in the garden. And now it's about 6 30 in the morning, dark. I've got about an hour before my wife starts working, so I've quickly got up, whizzed out, and gone for about a 60 minute run on very <coughs> dark trails, but it's weirdly mild too. We'll chat later. I'm going up a hill. Saturday morning, I'm down, obviously still on the Isle of Wight. The plan is to get over there up on that ridge and cruise along all the way around over that way somewhere. <laughs> So we're about two hours and 13 minutes into it, which, well, into it, we're coming towards the end of it now. So there'll probably be about two hours and 30 minutes in total, maybe a little bit more, depends on how quickly I finish this last bit off, but just picking up the tempo for the last three kilometers, three or four, and finish strong. But really enough to run a big bowl of oats this morning, overnight oats, a few gels, some water, and a Red Bull just back then from a shop, and that's it. Oh, hang on, people coming. Two and a half hours, 25 kilometers pretty much. Uh, trails, 1,000 foot low elevation, so not too lumpy, but good enough. Mud, sand, road, bit of road. Uh, fields, all good. Saturday, done. And as I said, we are now at 77, 78 for the week. <laughs> Morning. It's Sunday morning. Plan is easy 30 minutes in the wet rain, followed by a workout of some description, push-ups, core, squats, etc. But uh, running-wise, all I want to do today is just get up to pass over 80, and we'll go for the week. But it was tipping down last night. Heavy thunderstorms. Heavy, uh, lots of lightning. Seems to be a bit calmer now, but the rain is still a coming. That concludes week four of this training vlog series to the road to Hurtwood. We have now done approximately about 82 kilometers of the week, so the training volume has gone up. Uh, the intensity has actually gone up as well, with a few good hill sessions there as well, so really pleased with that. Again, using that hill, uh, using that arm drive as well, and I will do a video all about uh, hill work very soon, and arm drive. Also, the Apple Watch, very pleased with this. Um, again, I will be doing a proper review on that soon but uh, that's it that concludes the week down here in the lovely old Isle of Wight and I'm now in a place called Freshwater and unbelievably I think my kids yep they're about to go in over there hey Ruth okay all right good boy <laughs> <laughs> 